Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Iron Sheik 84 doing an impromptu uh, stream uh, because DJZ was having <laughs> internet issues. So uh, a big shout out to everybody in stream right now. Destrio Destroyer DOA, Great J Man Gaming, Aiden 78, Evil Stewie, Expectation, Footers in Sydney, Glycos, Hemphetamine, Jeremiah 2424, Katie Angelo, Poncho, Portland Frank. Ravana Star, Scud 95, Sensei Kree, Sunny Speakers, Spider Rico, Subborders, Swaggy, Davis, uh, Tom, Tom Toms, VNK, and Virgo Pros. Welcome to the stream. Oh, uh, my vol, uh, like my speaking volume. Okay, uh, let me just decrease desktop audio a little bit. That better? Oh yeah, long hair, yeah. Long hair, uh, Iron Sheik 84. I, uh, I do need to get it re- I, so... Yeah, uh, all, uh, so... <laughs> so, um, the thing is, I had to have my, uh, I had to have my hair chemically straightened, uh, because otherwise it would, uh, puff up. Uh, you, you all have heard the term Jufro before. Well, that's what my hair does. It's so wavy and curly. It just puffs out like that. So uh, I went and got a straight perm and got my hair to, to stay down. But the problem is, is like, uh, like this part of it's fine. It's the, it's the new part that's grown in is uh, wavy and curly again. So I do need to, uh, I either need to decide what, uh, that I'm going to keep it long or I'm going to need to cut, you know, and then... Uh, like I said, get it, get a straight perm again. Oh yeah, like Will Ferrell and Semi Pro, exactly. But yeah, um, like I said, well, what, what, this this shouldn't be too too long. Um, but I will go through. Uh, I'll go through the Snoop tours here. Um, hopefully, this shouldn't take too too long. Actually, I'm... so I was playing Showdown in the background while I was with the, while I was uh, watching. Well, like I said, while I was watching DJ Z, and my game crashed. So of course, Biggie and uh, Sako lost all their health. So I mean, what are you gonna do? go so yeah I was very thrilled about that yeah oh no swag I appreciate it man uh, so yeah oh uh, by the way uh, as a heads up uh, do y'all remember that Brazilian steakhouse that I told that I, that I told y'all about uh, that I went to for my brother's birthday uh, for those of you who may not remember we will Let's bring it up. I just want to show this real quick. Very, very quick. So, Brasal Brazilian Steakhouse just opened up at the Shops of Legacy in Plano, Texas, which is in this within the city of Dallas. And we went here for my brother's birthday. So of course, you know, they got their, you know, they got the salad bar and everything. But this right here was the one that I was most excited to try. This is the Alcatra with cheese. So it's actually mozzarella cheese that they've injected into that steak. And when we went, it was oh, 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 so good. Oh yeah, and they did give the five stars treatment. I mean, like, you know, uh... Like I was, uh, like I was doing something, and like they came over, and like they like fluffed the, fluffed the napkin, and you know wanted to put it in my lap, and I was like, nah, nah, I'm good. Uh, but yeah, they they definitely, yeah, they definitely, uh, yeah, you don't win friends with salad, you don't win friends with salad, you don't win friends with salad, you don't win friends with salad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, we went we went there, uh, we like I said we came here for my brother's birthday. 
And my friend Harvey is celebrating a birthday, my fellow S2000 buddy, and a good friend of ours for many, many years. Uh, so we are going back because he's the one that told us about Brussau and he absolutely loves this place. So I can't have the bacon wrap stuff for the pork sausage because I don't eat pork. But uh, yeah, we are uh, we are absolutely positively looking forward to, to eating some. Last time, Mrs. Sheik couldn't go with me. So she is definitely excited to try some of this out. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 that's some good stuff. Pulled Eric at three stars, you're nine shards away from 2k. Yeah, it looks like they're, it looks like they're heavy handed with giving out the shards today, so, uh, you should be able to get that 2k fuse. I actually, I just recently got him at 2k. Oh yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. That's, uh, uh, look, I, I'm probably, uh, you know, usually when I go to some place like that, I usually just skip out on eating all day so I can stuff myself silly, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. My parents even talked about, they, they told me, uh, they told me, they're like, oh, it's like, oh, do you want to take the kid with you? It's like, you know, uh, it's like, we'll, we'll, we'll watch him for the night if you, if you, you know, it's like, if you want, if you want just yourself and your wife to go, so... Uh, I might take them, I might take my parents up on that and just uh, take out the convertible, enjoy the 90 degree weather with the top down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a good time. So by the way, um, I uh, I didn't uh, I didn't enter the Scott Hall giveaway because I already have him at four star four star gold. Uh, this is just a personal thing. If I already have a character, I don't enter the contest for him. So uh, yeah, it's just I you know like you know like I, I don't know, I can't speak about anybody else. I would feel like a jerk if I won and I prevented somebody else from getting that character. So. Uh, I didn't enter, but for anybody who hasn't, uh, make sure to go to the forum, like, comment, and subscribe to that video, and uh, hopefully win a haul for yourself. Yeah, I need to ask him about trading down, by the way. Yeah, I did think about that, but in the end, I was just like, oh, I'll, I'll live without pulls. Yeah, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Yeah, I'm sure that they wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> uh, somebody wouldn't mind trading me 25 pulls or whatever for uh, for that Scott Hall. But yeah, I don't know. I'll see. I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll send him a message about it. All right, here we go. So, how are y'all doing this fantastic Friday night? So. Uh, my day, I so I woke up, the little one went to preschool, and uh, after that, uh, you know, we kind of just, you know, we just hung around the house. I was, I watched, um, I what is it? I, I caught up on Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah, fish can't. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, that's actually the reason why I hopped on because I figured I was like, well. I'll just stream for a little bit, you know, to make sure I was I wasn't planning on uh, coming on, and I saw that I see that he's back. So as soon as I'm done, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna pop it back on over to him. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, we did that. Um, you know, I just hung around, uh, watched like I said, I watched a little bit of Rick and Morty, and then. Uh, after that, I won a uh, yeah I, I, I yeah fish can I saw that but since I'm already on I may as well I may I, I, I was gonna I was gonna I, I, I was gonna stream these Sunday night but I may as well just do these and then just not stream the uh, the what is it the um, I can't talk right now uh, 
I'll stream the... I won't stream the, the Sunday night one. Yeah, Hefe, how's it going? Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, we, we did that, um, and I don't know if I told you all, uh, the, 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 there's a CC's pizza that's close to me, it's a pizza buffet for the, for those of you who don't know what it is. Genial Bot, how's it going? So there's a, yeah, there's a place called CC's Pizza, and they had a grand reopening, and the first hundred people who were in line got, uh, a year's worth of free pizza. So uh, my wife, uh, so my wife and I, and my mom and my dad went in line because we had nothing better to do. Uh, we in, like we went like 45 minutes before they opened, and we 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 wanted years worth of free pizza, and so I took care. So we went and had some pizza, and then uh, my son actually broke the 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 coffee table that we have at our store by uh, getting up and dancing on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he so he likes uh so he likes climbing things, you know, shelves, ladders, trees, whatever. He's uh he's gonna be the next uh he's gonna be the next Hardy Boy. Uh, so like I said, we went we went and got uh, you know like we went and ate pizza. I bought I found uh, since it's for the store and not like for the house. I wasn't looking for a particularly expensive one, but I, I found one on the Facebook Marketplace. Veronica Velasco, thank you very much for the uh, for the uh, oh that's a that's a YouTube subscription. Hey Veronica, thank you very much. You might see this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so like I said, we did that. I went uh, I went and found one for ten bucks. Picked it up, dropped it off, and then uh, I, and then I watched some more Rick and Morty. Uh, we, uh, you know, chilled around the house, and then, uh, my wife, so my wife's from overseas, and there's a ton of movies that she hasn't seen, so she watched Son-in-Law for the first time several weeks ago, and so, uh, I was just like, oh, you know what's a good one to watch? Encino Man. So, we watched Encino Man, and she hadn't seen that before, and of course, because we watched Encino Man... We, you know, we had to put on, you know, like, I had to put on, uh, Biodome. So we finished that up earlier today. And... no, oh, what happened, Dreamer? Oh, yeah, and Budnick, I don't want you to think that I was ignoring you. Uh, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed Jungle Cruise. I was actually wanting to watch that myself. Yeah. I saw your message. It was a very good movie. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I do plan on watching Snake Eyes eventually. Yeah, wheezing the juice. And Radmobile. Yeah, uh... So yeah, yeah. Sudden law, like like uh, my mom was really in the mood for watching it. So we all, so like uh, you know, like we got it, and we all watched it together. And like I said, my wife hadn't seen it before, so of course she enjoyed it. And then we did that. Uh, so we might. Uh, so now that we've seen like uh, now that we've seen Encino Man, Son in Law, and Biodome, that of course means we got to watch Jury Duty, which. Uh, you know, and, and then in the army now. So I actually like in the army now. For as, for as stupid as it is, uh, you know, I, I do enjoy that. Uh, jury duty, uh, I, so I remember, <laughs> I remember renting that from our local, uh, from our local drugstore for like 99 cents or whatever. Oh yeah, Lori Petty. Go. 
Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Oh yeah. Actually, uh, I don't know if y'all uh, if y'all like any of the USA shows, but you just pulled a three SS Ember Moon and four SG Eric Fuse. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, so I was going to say, I don't know if y'all ever watched uh, any of the USA dramas. So there was Royal Pains, and then uh, there's something else, but White Collar. So I so I watched Matt, uh, I watched it. Uh, I actually like Matt Bomer quite a bit, and I really, really like that show. And the FBI agent, I forget the actor's name, but his wife on the show was Tiffany Amber Thiessen, so... It was uh, it was nice seeing uh, Kelly Kapowski get uh, a couple little extra roles nowadays, and even uh, so, what is that? I think White Collar. Let's see, when did White Collar come out? Where's oh, where is my phone? Oh, well. I don't know. Let's see, White Collar came out in 2009, so, you know, I mean, I know I'm talking about 12 years ago or whatever, but she still looked fantastic 12 years ago. Yeah, the Royal Pains, so, it's not that, do you ever have a show that you actually like, but for whatever reason, you just, like, like, you miss one week, and then one week turns into two weeks, and then you just... Like, you know, you, you miss it. Um, I watched Royal Pains up to a certain point, and then I just never, I, I never finished it. And it wasn't for the, it wasn't for the reason that I didn't like the show anymore or got sick of the plot, like many, many, many other shows. I just didn't, just for whatever reason, like I said, I just I stopped it. But I really should get around to, to finishing that one off. Um. So, Dreamer, Jesse Spano's movie, uh, are you referring to Showgirls or something else? Oh, yeah, Zach Morris is trash. Yeah, I, uh, I, I love Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Zach Morris, yeah. Yeah, Zach Morris's trash is really funny. It reminds me of, so Zach Morris's trash reminds me of, uh, have y'all ever seen, well, I mean, I know it's just like a one episode thing or, or whatever, but have y'all seen, have y'all ever seen that, uh, like that retrospective that makes it out that Daniel La LaRusso was the bad guy in, uh, in The Karate Kid? Yeah, so uh, for those of you that don't know, Zach Morris's Trash is uh, it's a series that somebody that uh, somebody's created, or it's it's one of the YouTube channels, and basically what they do is they break down they break down every single episode and just kind of talk about how Zach Morris is a giant piece of shit in every single episode, <laughs> and it's quite funny. And if you haven't seen it before, it's really worth it's look here's the thing if nothing else it's worth like you know if you have if you have two to three minutes that you have to kill and you want to laugh and you enjoyed saved by the bell that's exactly what it's good for so yeah um okay yeah i, I forgot yeah thanks spider i forgot exactly who it who it was um Hold on, I'm not gonna play this because I've got enough copyright claims against me recently. But there you go. There's one of them, and uh, here is okay. Not that. Um, okay, this might just bring you to the whole playlist. There you go. All right, I'm gonna restart my browser real quick just to be on the safe side.
Yeah, I, I haven't, honestly, I haven't watched a single episode of the new Save by the Bell. I did watch Fuller House, and I didn't really care for it, and I, I didn't I didn't think the new Save by the Bell was going to be good, so I, I didn't even bother. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning and the alarm gets out of warning, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. But I grab myself my, uh, you know, what is it? It's... It's like, it's like, I, it's like, I grab my, uh, you know, it's like, I grab my set of books and I give myself a look and, and run out to the corner just to see the bus fly by. It's all right, cause I'm saved by the bell. Hey, watch what you're saying, preppy. Oh yeah, why wouldn't I give off the AC Slater vibes? I'm tough, and I wrestle. Now, I don't think I could take Zandal down in a fight, but... <laughs> I'm sure I could, uh... I'm sure I could put him in a stretch muffler at some point. gonna get a cascade there but whatever just I'm low on health unfortunately because of the stupid uh because my game crashing earlier there we go that should do it yeah one day we'll have a karaoke night and just uh we'll sing all the favorites <laughs> I'll do like uh what is it? You remember when William Shap uh, when William Shatner uh, hosted Raw, and they did like they did the infomercial for the CD for all the songs? I'll just do a cover of every single uh, I'll just do a cover of every single uh, WWE theme, but just make it as super serious as I possibly can. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. <laughs> My thoughts on the new first gen being Snoop. Uh, yeah, I it, it's one of those things. Uh, Snoop wouldn't have been my oh, Snoop wouldn't have been my personal pick to to be uh, you know a new gen acro. I thought one in the game was enough, but yeah, it's it, you know it, it's fine, I guess. Uh, Swaggy, can I do voices? Okay, so uh, I uh, so I I mean of course like you know I do like I, I've done I've done uh, I've done impressions. I mean they're not they're not exactly the best, but you know I I've, I've done like the you know uh, I've done the you know it's like what you gonna do, brother? You know, I've done that, and then, of course, like, you know, it's like the, ooh, yeah. It's like, Iron Sheik 84 is the cream of the crop. You know, and then, you know, like the, hey, baby, listen, baby, uh, this is the American dream, Iron Sheik 84, telling you to uh, like, a comment, and subscribe to me. Um, yeah, it's... Hang on, let me... Yeah, it's yeah, it's because uh Yeah. Oh, voices. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was about to say it's like, yeah, I, I can do I can do voices. It's uh so I do uh I, I can do accents as well. Yeah. And you know, and of course, I am chic number 1. You know, it's like 
Iran number one, Iron Sheik number one, everyone else, hack <laughs> to Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, Randy boy, Randy one's voice. So, oh, by the way, I, and I'll get to it. So I do know, um, so I do accents. The only problem is, is uh, some of them are very, very, very stereotypical or they're absolutely horrible. So I tend not to do them because I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, like I said, well, may, maybe one of those, maybe some one day we'll, we'll bust one of those out. But uh, let's see. So just give you a heads up, I'm not gonna do like the whole screaming like, like, they attacked me! Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like, I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. You know, and what, what, for some reason, whenever I sing it, or whenever I do sing it without the music going on in the background, it ends up being like, you know, you could totally, you could totally make it into a lounge into a lounge song you know it's like you got your rules in your religion all designed to keep you safe but when rules start getting broken you start questioning your faith you know for some reason it uh i mean I, i'm i'm exaggerating right now but uh yeah for some reason i turn into a lounge like it always turns into a lounge version for me <laughs> all right so modern tour there you go Richard Cheese, yeah, exactly, yeah, that's, that's kind of where, that, that's kind of where I got it from, or, you know, that I, that I make reference to, but, yeah, for whatever reason, it just sounds like a lounge song to me, I don't know why. Yeah, but no, I know Richard Cheese, it's like the... Come on, get up, get down with the sickness. Your father, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Your mother, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Mr. Cheese. Yeah, I just like I said. I just I don't know what it is about voices. Like it's just I could. 100% see a lounge singer doing that song for some reason. Oh yeah, and Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, exactly. I actually, I knew about him before then because there was, there was some guy in... And I forget which one of my classes it was. It just, he went on and on about Richard Cheese and somebody, you know, it was, I forget what song it was, but he kept like, he kept telling me about it and like insisted every single day to tell me about it. And he even brought Richard Cheese's soundtrack just so I could hear it. And I was just like, I was like, well, this isn't, I mean, uh, I, you know, here's the thing. Not that I didn't like it or anything like that, but, um, you know, it's just one of those things, like, I obviously didn't love it the way that he did. But, you know, music's subjective, just like everything is, right? Army of the Dead was disappointing on Netflix. Which one was Army of the Dead? Um... Zack Snyder. Oh... Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, the one with Batista in it, right? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I thought maybe that was one of the that that was one of the ones with uh you know, one of the other ones that uh Romero made. So I I've seen um Yeah. So I, I, I've watched, so I watched, uh, yeah, by the way, yeah, I would prefer no spoilers just for anybody else who hasn't seen it yet, but, so I loved, like, Night of Living Dead, you know, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, 
And then, um, which one was the one? Hold on, the. Filmography. There we go. Of course, I got a the invisible Naomi here. Yeah. So I watched Land of the Dead. Yeah, I watched Land of the Dead and I liked it. It was all of the ones afterwards because I remember when I went to go. I like. I was so so excited. To watch, uh, yeah, yeah. I, so there's a there's a theater. There there there's two theaters. They're owned by the same um, by they're owned by the same company. It's uh, the Magnolia and the Landmark Theater. Uh, play like indie movies and stuff, and then um, the. Uh, what is it? it? And then there's another one called the Angelica, which I think is a nationwide. So yeah, so it was either the Angelica or the Magnolia. I forget which one it was, but they were playing Diary of the Dead, and I thought I was like, oh my god, oh I get to watch, you know, like I get to watch one of the Romero movies, brand new in the theater. Oh, I was so excited, you know, especially after Land of the Dead was so good, but yeah, Diary of the Dead, uh, that was. Uh, uh, that was um uh, that was it was a movie. The Walking Dead. So um, I did. Uh, I watched The Walking Dead. Uh, so I I did read the comics as well. So I do know. Um, okay, I don't want to give any spoilers. Just on the off chance, I know the show's been on for forever, and this happened multiple years ago. But I still, I, I don't like giving out spoilers for, for something semi, semi recent or whatever. Uh, so when I watched it, um, on the TV show, I watched it all the way to where Negan showed up. And, um, I, uh, so that's, uh, so like I said, that's where, that's where I've seen it too. Who do I want that's like, that's gonna be quick? Yeah, we'll stick him. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, that's the one with, uh, with, you know, where all the, the Carl, the Carl memes came from. But, it, I mean, it's like, I like The Walking Dead. It was fine. But like I said, I watched it up until Negan shows up. And I know what happens with Negan um, and certain characters. But uh, the show took, the show apparently, like, took a little bit of a twist or whatever. But I watched it up to a certain point. Um, I do remember the very last episode I watched were was when Rick and... That one character, uh, Michonne, was her name? Michelle, Michonne, something like that, where uh, they had, they, uh, again, I don't want to give spoilers, but I, I, I that, you know, um, that's, that's where I thought I watched it too. It, um, yeah. Yeah. Daryl and Merle and everybody. Um, so, I, like I said, so I saw it to that, and then the comics went a little bit ahead, but I think what happened was, like, they passed the comics or something. I don't know. I. Kind of like what J Man said. I lost interest after a point. It was a fine show for what it was, and I mean, like, I did, I did enjoy it, and I did like the characters. It's just, 
after a while, it just I'm just like you know, it just it got it got to the point where I was just like, ugh, I don't want to watch this anymore. Yeah, um, actually, surprisingly, I watched, so, I watched the first two or three episodes of Game of Thrones, and then I just, for whatever reason, I just couldn't get into it, and then I watched the final season, and I, you know, it's like, and of course, when I watched the final season, I was just like, ugh. And then I I didn't find the desire to go back and watch the rest of it after that. Yeah, I still think that Breaking Bad's probably the greatest TV show that I've ever watched. Oh yeah, Spider Rico, Return of the Living Dead with uh the uh, the punk zombies and everybody <laughs> actually I watched uh, so I, I have seen <clears throat> I've seen return of the living dead one two and three it's the rest of them after that that I haven't watched so great my game locked up. Yay! And after I just... After I just reset my browser too... Yeah, what is it? The the Rave to the Grave and some of those other ones. Yeah, I uh, haven't watched them. Don't have any desire to watch them. The third one was... Yeah, I, I saw Yeah, Don't Bother. Yeah, the third one was stupid enough as it was. Train to Brusan. No, I haven't seen that one. I can't say I have. So, I don't want to use the kid as an excuse for not doing this stuff. A lot of times it's, I don't, you know, I have other movies I'd rather watch. Uh, but what happens is, when I do watch movies nowadays, typically I have to watch them in two to three day pieces because you know by the time i get off work by the time we run errands by the time we do this by the time we do that it just i don't get you know like i i don't like i hardly ever get the time to just like sit down and watch a movie start to finish from scratch okay well it looks like it counted my victory so i have no complaints here yeah, that actually happened to me the other day. So, for whatever reason, like, it counts the victory, but it freezes up like that. But, hey, I'm not complaining. I didn't lose any health. I'm fine. Quiet Place. I didn't watch A Quiet Place. I also didn't watch uh, Bird Box, either. You like them both yeah I might I might give them a watch eventually just sometimes uh like I said I got nothing against yeah I, I I absolutely have nothing against Sandra Bullock I actually like her a lot 
and it's not that I thought the the premise of the movie was bad or whatever, but it's yeah, I just I never. Oh, I see. You never see the creature in the bird box. Yeah, I. Other than in drawings, okay, I'll keep that in mind. You know, uh, the I, I will tell you guys one thing. The uh, I I completely ruined Paranormal Activity for for somebody. Uh, so for those of you who have seen Paranormal Activity, uh, you know, like whenever they uh, whenever they find the the pop, you know, like you know the prints and the flower, or whatever. It you know I was like it's you know I was just like oh it's uh, you know it's like and then you know the the ghost making it sound is like. Aah, aah. I was like, it's a giant chicken. I was like, that's what it is. It's like, it's a giant chicken. Look at the chicken print and everything. And of course, somebody got mad at me because I ruined it for him. <laughs> oh yeah, the Creepshow movies were fantastic. I certainly liked Creepshow 1 better than Creepshow 2. But yeah, both of them were fantastic movies. You know, what's funny is... On Creepshow 2, I remembered the, what is it, it's called, is it, is it called the pool, is it called the lake, like what's, whatever the, whatever the name of it was, I remembered that, I remembered that one, uh, I remember that specific piece of it very vividly from when I was a kid, and I just like, I didn't remember what the name of the movie was, and I remember... I just kind of like, I just threw it in descriptions. I was like, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it was like people who go swimming and Lake, you know, eats, blah, blah, you know, Lake eats people or whatever. I forget what it was. But yeah, but I was just like, oh man, hey, dude lag getting out. Yeah. Yeah, the raft, that's what it was. Yeah, so like, whatever I found out about it, I was super excited. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, you know, I was like, oh, it's Creepshow 2. I was like, oh, there's a first one. So I watched Creepshow 1 and I really enjoyed it. And then like I said, I watched Creepshow 2 and I was thoroughly, you know, I was thoroughly... Brought me back to when I was a kid. The... On the first one... Uh, or, uh, yeah, it's like, my birthday cake, my birthday cake, where's my birthday? You know, like that one and then like I could... You know, and then Leslie Nielsen, I can hold my breath forever. It's all of them were great. All of all of them were great. Oh, and by the way, for for the, I'm sure you probably already knew this, but you know the farmer that was in uh, the 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 one with the with the with the plant that kept uh, that kept growing whenever he had water. That was actually Stephen King. Yeah. And then there was the the hitchhiker. What is it? The like the hitchhiker one. Hey lady, can you give me a ride? Oh man, old chief Woodenhead. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I you know, it, it's funny we we've, we've had a talk about we've we've had a talk about horror movies on here. So typically when I watch a horror movie, um I don't, I don't get scared. I don't get scared very easily. The native character in Old Chief Woodenhead was a little racist to you. Are you talking about the like the the chief himself or the the grandson character? All right, Beth, you want to go for it? Let's go for it. The grandson character, yeah. I'm just doing this for the damage, by the way, here.
But yeah, the uh, so I'm a big fan. So I so like I typically like the horror movies of the 80s and early 90s. I really like the slasher movies, uh, even though they're incredibly cheesy as hell and, you know, very poorly acted and things. I really, really like those. So, uh, so when I watch horror movies, I typically, you know, like, you know, I, some of the newer ones are fine, but those, uh, but if I watch a horror movie, it's usually, you know, it's typically one of the, the one of the older ones. So, um, like the Friday the Thirteenth series, Night of the Night, you know, the Nightmare on Elm Street and whatnot, and then also I am a huge, huge fan of the Sleepaway Camp series, and if y'all haven't watched it before, I highly recommend them. Uh, the The first one's supposed to be more of a serious horror, like a serious horror movie. And the the second and third one are very schlocky uh, horror movies. They I highly recommend that. And then uh, I even liked like the slashers of the '90s. So uh, the dentist was one. Uh, what is it? Wishmaster. I really really enjoyed. Yeah, Child's Play is another one. I really like Halloween was a good one. Um, Dr. Giggles. I was about to say that one. Yeah, the doctor is out of his mind. <laughs> and then, uh, isn't, isn't the guy who plays the doctor the one who's, uh, Saul Goodman's brother in, uh, Better Call Saul? Yeah, Hellraiser is a good one. The the one thing that I never understood is oh, yeah, it, it's all good, J Man. Yeah, I'm gonna be done. I, I'm yeah. I, what is that? I got one more note to do, and uh, I'm gonna do some polls, and then I'm calling it. I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna raid. I'm gonna swing it back over to DJZ. But have a good night, J Man. Jiren Kumar, how's it going? Yeah, sorry. Unfortunately, you reached me right at the end of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I get myself some Snoop here. Alright, but yeah, good night, J-Man. But yeah, uh, the, the only horror movie that I would say really creeped me out, like, big time, legitimately creeped me out, is, uh, I do two of them. I, I'm not gonna do a lot, uh... So, I, I'm not going to do the $100 poll. I'm just going to do the... Uh, I, I was just planning on... Uh, there we go. I was planning on doing one of the uh, $40 polls and calling it a day. Just doing 10 Yeah. Oh, sorry, but yeah, but I was getting it. So, like I said, there, there's two movies that I would say that legitimately creep me out. Um, number one is the original Candyman, and I know they're making a remake of it, a remake of it now, and I hope that it, I hope that it's not bad, you know. But yeah, Candyman number one, the original Candyman, not 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 the second or third one. And then, um, have you all ever heard of a Japanese movie called Audition? Oh yeah, sorry. All right, I was gonna say like, yeah, there you go, yay! Look at that. Both tours are done. Let's look in the bags and see what I got. All right, bag one is four star silver tokens. Bag two is fifty shards of Eric. 
I already have them at four star gold. We got more four star silver tokens. One million coins, very happy with that. 25 shards, I'd rather, I'd rather rather had another million coin. Let's see, four star silver tokens. Metals, and the last pull here is another million coins. Hey, not too bad, two million coins and a bunch of, uh, a bunch of tokens here. Yeah, um, so just real quick, uh, I am going to cut this video up. Uh, is I'm not going to be streaming for too much longer, but I am cutting this up. So uh, just to make it easier on me when I'm uh, editing these later, uh, thank you very much for everybody who watched. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And follow me on Twitch at IronSheek84 for more WWE Champions action. And with that, I wish you all a wonderful day and best of luck on the tours. Bye-bye. Good evening and howdy, folks. This is Iron Sheik 84, uh, a very tired and sleepy and kind of sweaty <laughs> Iron Sheik 84 uh, from swapping out blinds today. Um, so I did stream early this morning. Uh, I'm recording this as of, uh, I mean, August 1st in the morning. Um, I did showdown day number two and the third of the Snoop Dogg Long Beach 93 tours wasn't up yet. So uh, I said that I was gonna record it offline and just combine it with the other two that I did live on an impromptu stream on Friday when DJ Z's uh, internet suddenly went out. So uh, keeping my word, uh, here is the Sunday tour of the Snoop Dogg Long Beach 93 debut. So, uh, like I said, I'm only doing that. I'm I am doing this offline. I don't expect this to take me more than maybe maybe 20 minutes. So hopefully we'll get through this real quick. Get all the bonus points that I can get here. There we go. So uh, now that the showdown is inevitably over, I hope that all of you had a very successful showdown and were able to get all the bonus points that you needed uh, and were available to you. Thankfully with Scopely making this the most open of the showdowns in recent history, uh, I was able to double dip and cut down on a lot of the matches that I needed to do. And yeah, uh, just made life so much easier on me. And I hope that going forward that more showdowns are like this. Uh, I do like the exclusivity of having, you know, some specific characters here and there. But overall, I felt that this was a very good way of handling uh of, of handling showdowns in general for for everybody and not just uh people who happen to have a rare character or two here and there Uh, but yeah, uh, today was a good day, regardless of that, so I had fun chatting with everybody this morning during streaming, and just, you know, uh, just, the, you know, like the normal this and that. Uh, my little one, unfortunately, is feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, he has the sniffles. So, uh, last night, I was kind of, I was up all night just, you know, worrying about him and making sure that he was okay. Uh... So, yeah, that's just, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. When you're a dad, dad, you know, that's what happens. You gotta, you know, you gotta put the games aside and watch out for the boy versus, uh, 
you know, being able to stream more often or do this or do that, but thankfully he's okay and that's all I care about. I'll, I'll, I can always sleep late. I can always take a nap or sleep later on. Probably should have chosen that green match there, but hey, I got lucky. Also, if they're gonna make us use text the entire time, I might. Wouldn't hurt me to put a. Let's put George Steele on her. There we go. Just a little bit of an insurance policy. Maybe I'll break. Well, I mean, I know I had the help to do it. I was just hoping that maybe I could get a loot box or two out of that. Apparently not, but whatever. There we go. Just cruising right along here. Also, it seems like we're gonna have a pretty substantial downpour rain. <laughs> I don't know if the thunder in the background can get picked up or not. Yeah, well, my little one, he so. He fell asleep on my wife's lap earlier, and so uh, she didn't want to move him because, like I said, he's not feeling well. So we started watching Jungle Cruise, starting you know, starring international film star The Rock, and uh, we we were we we're watching about I think we got about 20 minutes into it or something like that, and then of course he woke up and when he woke up he's like ah I'm not happy dad no I'm I'm not happy when so <laughs> so that was fun to deal with of course pardon me but all in all can't complain about uh, a lovely lovely day here the very first of August we're in the last third of the year now okay I don't have a purple one like oh no I could have done that right there damn oh well Any double breaks? No. Let's do that. Yeah, and also, it's now three months away from my birthday. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to do anything specific for that birthday or not. I... I don't know. Well, I mean, as far as, uh... Maybe... A giveaway who knows maybe I'll become a content creator by then and I can give a special prize out on my birthday all right it's normal mode down all right not too bad now on to hard mode I wonder if they're still going to require text. Oh, they are. As a side note, I don't have Head of the Table Roman. Uh, I wasn't lucky with getting the shards. Kept getting them for everybody else. But, hey, what can I do? Yeah, 
is over. Oh, which reminds me also, I need to get in touch with Amazon after this. I So, uh, in the showdown video, you'll see that I did uh, just a really quick uh, pan around of the room that I'm in currently. And uh, I ordered some popcorn because we were going to have a family movie night. And of course, uh, I paid for the expedited shipping to get the popcorn between one and six today or two and six i forgot what it was that they said and they sent me a follow-up email hey we're not gonna get it to you before 10 which uh that does me no good because i'm an early to bed early to rise kind of person and i gotta work in the morning so i don't have the luxury of waiting till 10 o'clock for that to come in but hey first world problems right There we go. Let's take care of Brett as quickly as I possibly can. Boom and boom. There you go. So it's funny, the the mail so when the mail is first I get my matches done like that. It's when I have to do Becky that it takes me a decent amount of time here. Alright. There we go. Put some good old Becky in there, along with Mr. Sucko. It's a lot weird to keep commentary and stuff whenever whenever there's not anybody else around to talk to you. Because, uh, trust me, I would much prefer talking about horror movies and other various things than just the game here. But, you know, yeah, you gotta make do with what you got available to you. So, there we go. Take that right there. Alrighty. There's that. I can... Alright, well they sealed their own fate. Bringing in uh, Mr. Sacco here. Peasy, lemon squeezy. Miss Ripley here. Alright. Here we go. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. So when I was at Money in the Bank, there were certainly certainly crazily cheering for Becky during the Charlotte and Rhea Ripley match. There we go. Alright, 
So the Riptide is going to do 21,000. Choose 8 gems to destroy. Do that. There you go. I'm going to force... I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I, I normally wouldn't do the sub because I would prefer to not lose that one on my tag counter, but I also don't want her to get her uh, to get her finisher off, only because my my Becky isn't very fully built yet, and I think I could, and think I'll end up putting myself in a situation where I wouldn't get uh, I wouldn't be able to kick out of it. There we go. So this is good for me. She's probably going to tag out now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to take advantage of that. Because... Kick him in the groin... Even though I don't need to, I just like kicking him in the groin. Boom, there you go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> there we go. So more than enough damage. Take him down. And there we go. Hard mode has been completed. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Alrighty. Go on to hell mode. So, are texts still required? Yes, they are. Alrighty, there we go. Kind of surprising that they're requiring text the whole time. I didn't think that... I thought they were going to allow any Roman, honestly. In which case, I was going to use my zombie Roman. And the game froze. Okay. Just in case. Just taking a screenshot so I can put in a ticket if I absolutely need to. I was keeping an eye on my timer too. I was only at about 15 minutes here. Which is very annoying, but hey. I'll just put in a ticket. Scopey will send me the... Scopey will send me the health packs. That's fine. Never have an issue with that. And plus, I have a recording of it. So it's not like I can be accused of making this up. Started. Come on. All right, there we go. Events. Snoop Long Beach. Sunday tour. Technician and yep. Oops, not 
that one, this nut snipping tool. Probably don't need to heal Sako all that much. He's going to be a powerhouse with or without that. No pun intended, he is a technician, of course. There we go. As long as this doesn't do a very crazy cascade, I should be fine. And of course it does! Always thrilled about that. And of course, I lose for bullshit reasons. No, I don't want to use the in-game cash. Well. Didn't want it to be this way, but what can you do? Should be more than enough to take care of this now. Alright, my wife was just coming here telling me the little one didn't want to... That he, he napped, so when he took his nap, he slept for like an hour, like I said, while we were watching Jungle Cruise. And then uh, he decided to just wake up and not go to sleep. I'm recording offline, it's, it's fine, Bastida. Wife didn't want to interrupt me while I was recording this, but it's okay. The little one feels at ease with me being here, so I'm fine with that. So it's always so cute, whenever he gets scared or whenever he's not feeling well, you know, he, like, he'll always run into my arms uh, because he knows dad's always there to protect him. Not that, not that my wife doesn't, but, yeah, he's always, yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever something happens, it's always he runs to me, just clings to me, and, may, you know, it's like, because dad's going to make everything better. There we go. That was a 
much better outcome to that battle. Also, I just want to show one thing off because uh, a friend of mine pointed this out. Alrighty. Cut my mic off there for a second. Wife needed something. Oh, yeah. What, I, what, what was I going to show? So, how many trainers are you allowed to have in this game? Two, right? Two trainers and two coaches. You want to explain to me how both uh, Bray Wyatt and Naomi here have three trainers each? Because, uh, yeah. Luke Harper, or sorry, not Luke Harper, but... He's not, he is not a coach. He's a trainer. He's a trainer, not a coach. And he's a trainer, not a coach. And same thing here. So, uh, why does the game get to have three trainers and I don't? Please explain that. And same thing here. Why does the game get three coaches and I don't? Or three trainers and I don't? I'm just trying to use the right term here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to call that being unfair? There you go. It's called stacking the deck against us. Unfairly, I might add. go drain 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 that health there we go there's that see what damage we can do here there we go okay there we go healed up a little bit Okay, now he tags out. Okay, which is fine. I'm going to just swap back to Sting here. Actually, you know what, I'm going to take those multiply gems away from him. There you go.
All right, and I got lucky on that one last gem match I needed, but there you go. One, two, three, and Brett is down. All right. Technician required. There we go. Fill up Becky's health. There we go. Hopefully shouldn't have too much trouble here with this. And hear the thunder rumbling even more in the background now. There we go. Wish she had done that blue match there, so I could have gotten that lovely cascade. That's not going to happen. Never mind. There we go. Go ahead and break that purple so that I make absolutely sure that he comes in with that. I'm just going to turn my microphone off since my little one's being unruly in the background. Never mind, he decided to go into the other room. He decided to go to his bedroom. take away okay she's probably gonna use she's probably gonna use these so I'm gonna keep take that off and then uh, yellow yellow that and this is an insurance policy there we go Uh, 
not going to waste the 200 in-game cash there. Let's give it the old college try yet again. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heal her up and Let my auto clicker go for about, uh, for a little bit. I don't want him at full health, but just enough to where a, a lucky cascade or something won't knock him out, like what happened with Bray. should be enough there we go and then just as an insurance policy I am going to where is it I thought I had at least a couple there we go yeah the instant kick out there we go just as an insurance policy so we'll give it one more try here If I don't get it this time, I'm just going to switch to a different character and try Becky offline. Rather than sit here and re-record this over and over and over. So come on, fingers crossed, please no weird multi-gem cascade shenanigans going on. Just let me get this five break here. Don't do anything else. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. And of course, I don't have any place I can break this, but there you go. All right. Well, at least I got a lot of luck. I lucked out on this one. I sh talk about it. I stole that one from from the AI there. <laughs> but then again, the game crashed on me. So fair game, right? There we go. And now we're on to the last match of Hell Mode, which is Rhea Ripley and Fandango versus me. Is it still tech only? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. And let's see. More shenanigans. They get three trainers again. Isn't that lovely? So there we go. I'm going to equip that and where's the green shango curse there we go let's check in again yeah so sting and that there we go so just cope open and keeping my fingers crossed all i need to do is survive till sako All 
Alright, so far getting lucky with the gem placement here. And all the double breaks that the AI can get just makes my life so much easier when I tag out. So there we go. Alright, thank you. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, so a five break here. And I don't get to get a bleed off, but... I am going to do this. Alright, I'm very happy with this. Okay, this is best case scenario right here. There we go. And I am going to make the AI pay for that crap earlier by kicking him in the groin yet again. You would think after all this time I would get tired of kicking people in the groin, and I'm not. There we go. We're going to just do this three break here just to get a little extra damage in and pow. Got a bleed in. Yeah, he's not kicking out. And boom. Done. So this took me a little longer than I expected, only because of some shenanigans. But hey, I beat hell mode, so I'm always happy about that. So just like in any of my other videos, please do not... Please do not... Oh, oops. Uh, wrong there we go yeah please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to me on youtube and follow me on twitch at iron chic 84 for more wwe champions action and with that good night everybody